guys, welcome to this video. In this video, our question is: A man borrowed rupees six thousand at five percent compound interest. If he repays rupees one thousand two hundred at the end of each year, find the amount outstanding at the beginning of the third year. So this is the question. So I solve this. So first, you write. So in this question, I will write a simple interest formula. So first, you write that for first year. Principal will equal rupees. This is the principal rupees six thousand. Rate is given five percent per annum. And time will be equal to one year. So therefore, now write the SI for the first year. So the formula is he had to pay hundred, or principal will be paid into time by hundred. So put the value six thousand into five into one by hundred. So first you cut the zeros. So remain sixty into five, so which is rupees three hundred. So therefore, this is the interest for the first year. So now I write that amount need to be paid at the end of first year. So the formula will be principal plus SI. So the principal is six thousand plus the SI, which is three hundred. So it will be rupees six thousand three hundred. So this means that after one year, this is the amount that needs to be paid. So now you have to write that the amount paid at the end of first year. This is equation. It is give question. It is given that one thousand two hundred. So this means that um, this is the amount that needs to be paid at the end of first year, and this is the amount that is paid. So that means that means the full amount is not paid. Only one thousand two hundred is paid. So therefore, you can write that the principal for second year is equal to. So the principal for the second year will be the minus the amount and paid at amount need to pay at the end of first year minus the amount paid. So it becomes six hundred, sorry six thousand three hundred minus one thousand two hundred. So the if we solve this, this will become the principal for the second year. So it will become rupees five thousand one hundred. So therefore, this will be become the principal for the second year. So therefore. You can write SI for the second year. So same formula, P R T by hundred, principal into rate into time by hundred. So put the values. Principal is five one zero zero into rent that is five uh, percent into time, which will be one. Year. So by hundred, now cut the zeros. So even fifty one into five, which will be equal to rupees two hundred fifty five. So therefore, this is the SI for the second year, the simple interest for the second year. So therefore, now I say right here that amount that need to be paid at the end of second year is so that will be equal to principal plus SI same formula. So principal is our five thousand one hundred plus the SI that is two hundred fifty five. So it will become rupees five thousand three hundred fifty five. So therefore, this is the uh, amount that needs to be paid at the end of second year. So now we also know that um, at the end of every year, uh, the man pays rupees one thousand two hundred. So therefore, the amount. Paid at the end of second year it is given rupees one thousand two hundred so therefore you can write that amount no you write total amount that need to be paid
after second year is required to that means after the payment of the second year that means after the amount paid at the end of second year after paying this much amount how much amount will be left so that will be is equal to 5 3 to 5 sorry 5 3 5 5 which is the amount that need to be paid at the end of second year minus the amount paid at the end of second year which is equal to 1 2 0 so it will become rupees 4155 so this is the final answer for this question so guys thanks for watching this video and to subscribe my channel for more solution